Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by Angpro Training. Hello friends, uh, in this class we will be talking about uh, the fundamental things in a C program. So first let us look at what is C language and then history of C language. Then we will look at the characteristics and uses of C and at last tokens in C. Let us look at each of them individually and let us understand what they are. So let us start the C language by understanding or by knowing why should we study C language. Okay. So C is the fundamental and foundational language for the beginners. If you are a beginner to the programming world, first you should learn the C language because this is the fundamental language. So this C language came into the world very first before any other language. So I mean talking about the high level languages, right? So C is the basic fundamental language. This is an easy language. Anybody can learn the C language. So if you once you become an expert in C language, you will not find any language difficult. Okay, so C++, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript and many other languages have incorporated the syntaxes and many features from C. Okay, so apart from C language there are plenty of languages out there in the world. So all or most of the languages follow the most of the syntaxes what we have in C language. So if you know the things in C, so you will find any other languages very easy. Okay, so you will not find difficulties in writing programs in any other languages because all languages follow most of the features of C. Major parts of the Windows, Unix and Linux are still written in C. So that means C is also used for system level programming. So most programs in the operating system are still uh, used in C because because C has many features like uh, uh, we, we, we have the functions uh, that operate on the bits. So we can perform the bit level operations in the C language. That is why it is very useful for system level programming. So that is what I said here. C is also used for the system level programming which means we can manipulate the bits. Uh, device drivers of new devices are always written in C language. Lots of job opportunities for experts in C programming. Once you become an expert in C language coding the C programs you will find lot more job opportunities th so that you can make more and more money. So become an expert in C, keep watching all the classes. So what is C then? What exactly C language means? Let us look at that. So C is a high level general purpose structured programming language. In the last class we have learned the different generations of programming. So there I uh, discussed about high level and low level languages. So so. So C belongs to the high level language category because C uses the English like statements, English like sentences uh, in it. So that is why it is called a high level language. General purpose means you can use the C for wide variety of, of problem solving. It is structured programming language as well. Structured programming means you can divide a big C program into smaller parts called uh, functions. That is why it is called structured programming language. You can uh, you can make uh, you, you can build structures in the C language. So the word structured programming language. So this is the standard definition for C language. If somebody asks you what is C, just say C is a high level general purpose structured programming language. So let's moving on. And the C was developed or say invented by Dennis Ritchie. So he's the scientist who developed uh, the C language at AT&T uh, Tees Bell Laboratories USA in the year 1972. So remember the year and the uh, inventor of C language. His name is Dennis Ritchie in the year 1972. So, so these are the basic fundamental questions that you can expect in the interviews. C is not designed for specific applications areas. So that means C C is a general purpose language you can say because it is not specially meant for any specific area you can use the C language in any application areas like uh, if you want to build uh, softwares for your college you can use the C restaurants hotels airlines ticket booking railway stations hospitals so you can use the C programming anywhere you want almost all the areas in the world
So C language is well suited for business and scientific applications. So now let us study the history of C. So how C came into the world. So just look at the table. You will you will get the idea of uh, the years of invention of different languages. And look at the second row gives you the first ever language that is called Algol. Algol is an abbreviation for algorithmic language which is the uh, first programming language you can say high level programming language or the ancestor of C uh, which is developed uh, in 1950s and 60s between 50 and 60s you can say by an international group. After a few years a language called BCPL stands for basic command programming language was developed by Martin Richards in the year 66 and 67 then came the language B in 1970 developed by Ken Thompson so B language they were calling the language as B language which is the um, which is the successor of BCPL okay so all the languages have some or the other loopholes that is why they led to the invention of new language and in the 1972 in the year 1972 C was developed by Dennis Ritchie so C was originally invented to write an operating system called Unix you all might have heard the operating system or software called Unix so Unix was originally written by using C language so C was that old the language was formalized in 1988 by the American National Standard Institute oh, which is oh, in short called as ANSI so that is why the name ANSI C if, on some websites or the books you will find the word ANSI C that is because the ANSI or American National Standard Institute which is a standards making institute made the C uh, and its syntax as standard worldwide so by then if anybody wants to develop a C compiler which translates the C programs into machine language has to follow the rules and syntaxes that made standard in the ANSI C. So that is how it is formalized in 1988. C programs are normally typed in text editors like notepad or directly in the C compilers. Okay you can use if you are a, a Windows a person you can use the notepad for typing C programs or you can write C programs directly in a C compilers you can find the plenty of C compilers on the internet in the later classes we'll learn how to run a C program in a C compiler so there are plenty of options available for us to write the C programs a C program can vary from three lines to millions of lines and it should be written into one or more files with extension .c so that is how the operating system recognizes the C files. So .c is an extension for, for the C language files. For example, hello.c. Hello is the file name that you are given to your program and .c is the extension for that file. So a C program may vary from uh, 3 to 4 lines to millions of lines. So, so you can think of a complexity of a program by that. Now let us discuss about the characteristics of C. So C is a popular language due to its rich set of built-in functions. C has a standard library where you can find hundreds of C built-in functions. That means you don't need to write programs for every other operations in your C. You can just go to the library and get the functions out there in the library. So we are just going to call the functions in the library and we'll get our work done. So C has a rich set of built-in functions. Okay, Programs written in C are efficient and faster. This is due to its variety of data types and powerful operators which we'll be covering later in the classes. C is a portable language that means C programs written for one computer can be run into another computer without any uh, manipulation in the program all you need is a C compiler so once you have a C compiler in any computer you can easily run a program written in any other computer C language is a highly flexible language very easy to understand by users it can be used for developing uh, system softwares as well so flexible means uh, as I said it is well suited for wide varieties of problems C is a structured programming language because we are going to divide the entire C program into smaller parts called modules which we will be covering in the later classes like uh, we are going to know what is a module and how to divide a program into modules and functions everything 
this modular structure programming is easy for debugging testing and maintenance uh, think about a big problem if you're going to solve a big problem as a whole you will find difficulties right so when you divide a big problem into a single uh, into a smaller parts it is easy for debugging debugging means checking for the errors and testing and maintenance c has the ability to extend itself means that we can add our own sub functions or we can add our own sub programs or functions to the main c program so now let's get into the very important uh, concept in c that is tokens you must all understand the tokens first this is very important topic in the c language c tokens are the basic building blocks in c language which are constructed together to write a c program these are called the building blocks of a c program before you going to write a program in c language you must understand uh, the vocabulary of c language so that is what c tokens are c tokens are like vocabulary for c language they are the building blocks each and every smallest individual units in a c program are known as c tokens the smallest individual unit in a program uh, is called as a token let us look at this example is a small main function uh, where you can find tokens can you see the line int a b total int is a token a b and total are the tokens and the semicolon is also a token so using all the tokens together we're going to build a function so let us look at the different tokens in c language so these are the five major tokens or you can call the components of c language first the character set then the constants keywords operators and variables first you must need to understand all of these concepts because we are going to use these in our future programs first let us the character set of c language as we are english speakers we have a alphabet in english language right which is from a to z so likewise character set consists of alphabets of c language c language uses two types of cases upper case which are capital letters from a to z capital a capital b until capital z and lower case small a small b up to small z we can use any alphabet maybe upper case or lower case while writing our c program and digits as well so digits from 0 to 9 you can use any combination of digits uh, while programming and special characters are also available for us as you can see so these are the special characters you can store them in the variables or they have the predefined functions assigned to them so we are going to use them according to their functions so these are the special characters you can use them as constants store in a variable and next the constants constants are a uh, literals which are not going to change their values in any point of the program so constants first look at the numerical constants numerical constants are numbers they include integers and real numbers positive or negative for example minus 8 is a number is a numerical constant 100 5000 1.27 85.2525 all are numerical constants likewise you can take any number and you you're going to call that as a numerical constant in c language and we also have the character constants a is a constant capital a is a constant dollar symbol is a constant plus is a constant that means they have the fixed value fixed name to them they're not going to change their values or names anywhere in the program and string constants string is a group of characters and should be enclosed uh, within the double quotes character enclosed in a single quote and string constants are enclosed within the double quotes see look at the first word g e m gem it is a string a group of three characters next the word actor group of five characters cricket group of seven characters so a string means you can have upper cases lower cases together or only upper cases or only lower cases as well so remember characters are enclosed in a uh, single quote and strings are enclosed in double quotes and next the keywords keywords are the reserved words so there are 32 keywords in c language and they all are reserved for specific purpose for special operation so these are the 32 keywords that we're going to use in the c program 
so these keywords are very important without the keywords we cannot write a program each and every keyword in a C language has a special meaning has a special purpose we should not use the keywords for any other purpose other than the task assigned to it okay next the operators so operators are for operations let us look at the types of operators so these are the unary operators a pair of plus and a pair of minus so there are two unary operators plus plus and minus minus a plus plus is called as increment operator and minus minus as decrement operator in our future classes we are going to use them and you will understand exactly what they are and the equal symbol is called as assignment operator in C language so equals uh, doesn't have the literal meaning in C language in the mathematics we use it for equality but here we call it as assignment operator because we are going to use the equality operator when we assign something uh, to something arithmetic operators so these are the uh, basic arithmetic operators addition plus for addition minus for subtraction star for multiplication forward slash for division and a percent symbol for modulus operation so there are three logical operators logical and logical or and logical not which will be using uh, in performing logical operations so these are the relational operators lesser than greater than lesser than or equal to greater than or equal to and double equal symbols represent the equality in C language if you put double equal uh, symbols that means the meaning of double equals is equality single equal symbol is for assignment and the last symbol for not equal representation and these are the short and operations that reduces the length of the expression which we'll be covering in the next classes and this is the conditional operate which does a special operation in C language uh, later in the classes we'll, uh, we'll be learning all these operators used in the program and last part of the tokens is variables so you might have heard the word uh, variable right variable which means which varies its value so take a look at this sentence or this statement in C language int a comma b ended by a semicolon so this is a statement in C so here a and b are variables that means you can store any integer value in a and b that is what it means so a and b are variables uh, which can hold any integer value but there is a range for integer values to store this is another statement which has two variables one is salary another is height so these two are floating type variables that means you can store real numbers in these two variables so that is what float means so if you want to store um, numbers with decimal values use the keyword float next the variable name of length 20 characters so that is what char means here name the variable name of 20 characters can hold a string consisting of 20 characters so friends in this session we have learned the basics of C language uh, advantages and characteristics of C language and at last the tokens of C language well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn thank you